Okay, morning. Good afternoon, Jacob. I'm sorry, I'm still out of it. Yeah, I'm really sleepy, actually. I haven't okay. been following through with my New Year's resolution. It's okay. Getting a lot more sleep, so I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, I, I, it's okay. And I, But I've actually come up with a new one, and that is really? to be more positive. Really? Be mm-hmm. optimistic? Yep. That's a good, that's a good yep. thing to be. Uh-huh. And uh, so since it's St. Angeles and it's still, t- it's still only Tuesday, we have another fact. Mm-hmm. And that is, is that basically they were in the 60s, 67 actually, there, uh, it, there became a rapid growth from when it was like 150 to be, and it became 350 within mm-hmm. like a few years. I think it was like three. And so that's a massive change. And at the time, there were only 800, uh, 800 families in the parish. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so now there's a lot more from mm-hmm. than there used to be. Yeah. And that's good because, you know, St. Angeles is a pretty great school. So, you know, mm-hmm. I highly recommend. But what I was going to say was, like, uh, pretty much half of the families had a uh, kid in St. Angeles. So mm-hmm. that's, like, that's a lot. That's a lot of kids that were from the parish. And, Jacob, today's Tuesday. So don't you have your Turtle Tuesday? I do indeed. Let's go. An adventure. <laughs> So for my Turtle Tuesday, I will talk about this spiky and spiny turtle. Do you see this thing? This thing's cool. Well, this turtle has spikes on its shell, as you can clearly see, to, de- uh, to deter animals from harming it and, like, eating it. Like, would you want to eat that sort of thing? Exactly. <laughs> it's, uh, this, well, the, the spikes are actually extremely sharp when they're children. So that way, uh, that it's, probably one of the, it's the, probably one of the easiest ways for, uh, for the turtles to protect their own kin. So that way, like, having the turtle defend itself instead of having to worry about it, it's pretty cool. All right, so you don't have this turtle mom chilling with next to it. And also, you uh, also these spikes are actually uh, made to camouflage a turtle, and so it actually looks like a leaf. Now, on this, on this, yeah, it's kind you can kind of see it, but mainly it's on the really small leaves that look kind of spiky. They're, they're like, uh, it's hard to explain. There's like, yeah, it's like a leaf. It's really long, and it has, like, spiky uh, little sh- I don't know how to explain it. It has like spikes on the side of it, and it's uh yeah, it's one of those. It's supposed to look like that, and it does. It could fool me if it wasn't for the color change, but yeah. So I mean, if you're colorblind, you could, uh, and this turtle could be hiding on a leaf, and you would never know it. But also, this thing looks like a sea urchin, doesn't it? Just a walking sea urchin. Sure. Yeah, it does. It does to me. <laughs> See, I'm weird, but uh, yeah, it, it looks like that to me. Anyways, here's Alyssa with the sports. Yesterday, the girls' A basketball team had a game, and sadly, they lost their first game of the season, but they did an amazing job, so let's give them a hand. (laughs) And they have a game tomorrow at St. Pius, and the girls' B basketball team also has a game tomorrow at OLG. Here's Isaiah with the boys' sports. Sadly, all of the basketball teams lost their game yesterday, but they played great, so let's give them a hand. And the boys' B fifth grade basketball team has a game today at St. Catharines against St. Catharines at 345. The boys' A eighth grade team has practice today, and the boys' A seventh grade team also has practice today from 315 to 415. Here's Caitlin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord God, you restore St. Angela's sight when she was blind. Help us to see your love among us to never be blind to our faith. St. Angela devoted her life to caring for disabled. Grant us compassion to always help those in need and the dedication to live a faithful life as she did. As St. Angela taught young girls who had no education, may we always value our teachers. Bring us closer to you, O Lord God, and meet us on your journey to heavenly kingdom. St. Angela Marici, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Here are Jack and Jacob. Have an outstanding rest of your day, Cougars. And remember, if you want to follow in St. Angelo's footsteps, now is the time. time. Dead, he's surely alive. He's living.